Going, so to speak, we're going to go out to our San Francisco bureau. We have Jim Scullion. He's the chief executive officer of Bunchball. And, and Jim, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Robert. And, Glad um, to be here. You know, maybe Bunchball is not a household name, but if, uh, you know, if you're a fan of, say, you know, The Office and you've gone onto their website and you've, you've practiced some of the games or the, you know, a lot of these games that websites are using now to engage people is actually gamification. This is an industry buzzword. Talk to me a little bit more about how you're cashing in on gamification. Well, gamification is really not a game. It's, uh, it's really about motivating uh, human behavior through the use of uh, game mechanics and dynamics, really driving uh, achievement and competition uh, through things like uh, real-time feedback, uh, goal setting, status, recognition uh, in the digital world. Yeah, and, and certainly when you bring in the gaming aspect to it, if you have high scores up there or you have you know, some, you know, trivia or something, you're engaging the consumer, the viewer, the user, but you're also incentivizing them to come back to do better next time. Is that just sort of the underlying uh, message there? Oh, yeah. The whole purpose is to really drive more and more engagement in whatever experience, um, be it a digital online experience, uh, fan engagement, or with your employees and partners and customers inside an enterprise. It's really to drive more and more engagement and loyalty and leveraging gamification again, game mechanics and dynamics to do that. Now, talk to me about a couple of examples. I mentioned the office is one that you guys have done in the past. A couple of other examples of the work and that maybe people will, will sort of recognize maybe, oh, I've been to that website. I had no idea that I was taking part in gamification. I thought I was just answering questions about, you know, my favorite product or TV series. Sure, sure. We're, um, we're very much, uh, we grew the business and uh, the genesis of the business was really around consumer engagement, fan engagement. And we have customers like ABC, USA Network, uh, NBC Family, pro family uh, Properties. Um, but we're doing right now the MTV um, European Music Awards. And what we're doing with them is, uh, with Viacom is creating experience online right now so that fans get involved and excited about the European Music Association Awards before uh, they're even launched, which will be in November. And so they're going online, they're uh, basically downloading videos, sharing content, tweeting, uh, and getting involved with the artists and looking at past DMAA awards. And really, uh, the goal is to really have them get involved in voting uh, mm -hmm. for artists and uh, and different artist categories so, when the awards come up. Um, Jim, t take us through the process here. I mean, say, you know, I have my own company, Graco, and I, I want to use gamification to have more engaged, you know, consumers. How do you, do you work with them? Do they say, you know, just make it for me and you come up with an idea or do you sort of work, work together to try and integrate the product? Obviously the VMAs, or, you know, or the yeah. European awards, if you're voting, that's a natural, that's sort of easy to understand where you're gonna go with that. But what about for a product with a, a company? Yeah, it, we're, uh, we're also working with many companies in the enterprise space to really motivate their employees um, to be more engaged and more productive. And what we do is we leverage our Nitro platform and Nitro applications, which are you know very powerful solutions with all the game mechanics that I've been mentioning. Um, we deploy it into their digital experience uh, and work with them to create uh, a very engaging experience that is gonna drive the individual to take the high value actions they want to meet their business objectives. So we're leveraging technology and expertise. Uh, we work with our customers, but ma mainly we're selling a software platform that is very easy to deploy mm -hmm. to drive these uh, actions that we're talking about and motivate your employees, partners, your customers. So how does it work for you guys? So if I hire you, do I pay you a flat fee or do I say, you know what, if you can drive, you know, a million people to my site get you know half of a 50 percent retention rate or I may hit X number of sales off of this you know in revenue do you get bonuses for that or do you just take the flat fee and you're done move on to the next project now we're, we're a typical Silicon Valley company that's a software as a service we have a cloud offering um, we uh, basically charge a subs an annual subscription rate for our customers uh, 
to our customers and basically they get the use of our platform or our applications uh, by uh, paying us that annual subscription rate. Okay. So we have a very solid business model. So then it would include updates throughout the year. And so you know, if you're working with MTV, maybe you do the European Awards next is Asia and working their way back to the yeah. States. Or you know, with Graco, I roll out you know, the shoes. Next up uh, is, uh, I don't know, the car or whatever. And so you sort of can continue and then add on to the company once you have the infrastructure in. Is that how it works? Yeah. It, it, it's really built, the whole platform's built that we can help you deploy it or you can deploy it yourself readily. Uh, and then we have basically an admin console that allows you to uh, modify your program any time during the year. Uh, and basically you're paying us the annual subscription fee and you have a, a product that you can actually uh, manage without our involvement. Uh, so. Now, That's how it, you know it's really easy to use. What about a uh, criticism that maybe you know this is manipulation? And we have a viewer here who says, <laughs> "Sounds like mind control to him." Do you do you hear these these types of critiques and uh, you know questions from folks? No, no, it's it's really it's all about motivating and incentivizing. Um, and so the fact is, uh, it, you know, there are no mind tricks. Uh, this is just what has been proven out in the gaming world for years and it works very effectively to drive the engagement, the loyalty that companies want from their users, their customers, their partners. Now, what's the number one request when you sit down with uh, the CEO or the marketing strategist at a company and they say, all right, we want you to make this aside from, you know, make it the most popular thing since Angry Birds? Uh, well, they usually have business objectives they want to meet. Uh, they want their fans to be, or their audience, their partners, their employees to be more engaged. Um, with the consumer-facing uh, customers that we have, they want their fans engaged, stay on online longer, uh, experience more page views, download, download more content, just be involved with the brand uh, more. And uh, that's what we call engagement and loyalty. And that's what we do. We help our customers absolutely drive a great, brilliant user experience to mm -hmm. engage their um, constituents. Well, Jim Scullion, the Chief Executive Officer of Bunchball, thank you very much for joining us and talking about gamification. Here is the website on uh, our screen right now. Again, it's bunchball.com. Thank you, Robert. You're welcome. Thanks again.